Hey, I'm back with part four of my Epic Drum series. This is also the last one. I can't believe I've actually done four, but here we go. So in this one, I want to focus on putting the sounds into a sampler. Of course, you can just do it straight from the synth, and lots of times if you just need one sound, it's easier. But many times, you want to use the sounds over and over again, not just you know once on one song. You want to use it a bunch of times, and instead of using one sound, you want to use multiple sounds so you don't want to have like six instances of a synth open like I have here actually it's only five but whatever so as you can see here I have these open let's go to this one adjustable epic vid sound if you haven't seen this I did this in was it part three I believe or was it part two I forget um, whatever I'll leave a link to it below but as you can see I have lots of different things here and I'll play the sound it's a little bit high let me move it down so that's the basic sound. But as you can see here, the delay's moving around, which I want if I'm using multiple instances, but in this case, I don't really need that, so let me just turn that off. And of course, like I said, I can adjust the decay to however I want. I can change the frequencies. There's all sorts of things I can do here, but uh, let's get into the actual sampling. So let me go here. And what we're going to use is Geist. If you saw my video on Euclidean rhythms, you saw I used that. And the reason I did that is because Geist is really powerful and it's really easy to use. So let's use that. So I'm opening this right on the track. I think there's some uh, DAWs where it doesn't work. I think maybe like Ableton or something. So you have to use some extra plugin called Splitter. But in Sonar, you can just put Geist right on the same track uh, it outputs on. And when you do that, at first you won't hear anything. So if I hit a note now, nothing comes out. Uh, what you have to do is move this to sampler mode like this. And then click this, monitor the input. I need to go to external. So it starts on master. I need to go to external here. Okay, so now you can hear it. And here it has, uh, you see lots of controls here for Geist. And the reason I'm using Geist is because it will do everything automatically for you. So I have it like single, and if I hit arm and I start playing, it'll just start putting different uh, samples in here automatically for me like this. Okay, so it's recording the samples, and I don't know if that's good or bad, but... It, you see it recorded one sample, and I don't need this one sample. I need more than this, actually. I want it to be, in this case, I want it to be velocity samples. But I can do that, actually. So if I go here, next layer, like this. Now, if I do this, it will actually go all the way through the layer. So let's try it now. Okay, so you see here, now I have lots of different layers on the side here. They're all playing at once. It's kind of a mess, and that's not really what I want. And also, I didn't really input these accurately, so I was like, oh, the velocity layers aren't really working how I want them to work. So let's go back in here. Normally, when I sample these, I want to turn this off so it's a dry sound. But in my opinion, that kind of sounds bad, so I like to have a, a little bit on there. If, if I was actually going to sample it, I might sample it completely dry or with a little bit less reverb, but just so it doesn't sound terrible during this video, I'll leave that on. So, ooh, blowing up my output. I'm going, yeah, it's too loud. Anyway, so let's go into Empower Synth, and let's go into like a piano roll. Oh, it's already there. I don't know. What am I doing? That's way too high. Move down here. Okay. So I'm going to move this all the way back to the beginning. Now, I'm just going to take a few notes and start playing. I'll start here. I want to make sure the space in between there so it has enough time to decay. So I'm not going to put like a bunch of 16th notes together because that's going to be a mess. 
I'm alternating also just to get a little bit of variation. Let me see how many do I have here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do eight because that's the exact number of layers I have. I'll fill out all the layers. So since I want to do this in velocity, now you see here like these bars here. That means the velocity for all these is the same, which is not what I want. I take that, go into sonar, sonar and uh, if I use control and click, see that it kind of scales it, which is what I want. And then I'll scale it up like that. Good. So when I play this, it should go from low velocity up to a high velocity. Let me stop it there. This is too low. The very lowest amount, like this is way too low. Let me move it up a little bit. Let me try it now. That's what I want. So now let's go back into Geist. We have it. it uh, we have it set up as next layer. We have everything set up how I want it, and just hit arm and let's play it. Okay, so as you can see now, all my layers are completely filled, but we need to do one more thing. So let me go to layer here, take this, and I'll change it to velocity split, auto. Now everything is split up, and when I click different parts, it's going to do different velocities. That's a little bit too low, so maybe if I change this... Amplitude, velocity to amplitude, that will change it so there's not such a big difference between the lowest one. You'll actually be able to hear the lowest velocity. Maybe. Let me try one more time. All the way off. That's too much, though. Let me try here. Okay. So I think that's a good amount. You can adjust that as much as you want. I probably shouldn't have put this velocity in so low, but whatever. And we can test it out here. So like if I go like this and I adjust the velocities randomly there. Let's see how this sounds. That sounds pretty good. So the only problem I have with this now is if, let's say, all the velocities are the same, when I go in here and I play, it's going to machine gun really bad. Let me, I'll let you listen to it. That sounds really bad and unnatural, so I don't want that. But one thing I can do is I can change the pitch a little bit, and that will sometimes help. So if I take this fine tuning here, Move this down and see if I have this layer on. That means every single layer will do the exact same thing. So let me make sure it's doing it. Yeah, so every layer has this. Now the fine tuning will change for every single hit. But that's only about 100 cents, so it's like a semitone, which isn't quite enough. I want to change it a little bit more. So let me use this one like that and then move here. The modulation, uh, one semitone. And you see it's on random. That means every single hit, it's going to move like a random value wherever this blue is highlighted. So let's hear it now. This should be a little bit better. So that's a little bit better, but still not perfect. Another thing I can do is this play here. If I move this pre-delay it will change the time it starts attacking. So let me try like 9 milliseconds and see if that makes any difference. And I can play with that. I'd probably use a little bit less than that. And still, this isn't perfect. 
And so if you're going to actually do something like this and it's not based on velocity, like I'm going to just do like repeated hits, like a drum roll or something, I actually wouldn't use this method. I'd use a different sampling method. This is what I'd use if like you need a lots of variations in velocity. But if you're going to use lots of repeated ones, I'd use round robins. So let me show you how to do that. Let me clear this. Clear pad. Let's go back here where I had this. And let me, I have all these highlighted already. And I don't need these to be exactly the same. I can have small differences in them. So like have this, actually have this one up really high. This one's a little bit lower here like that. Move this up a bit. This one there and like that. So each one has a slightly different velocity and let's play it so you can hear how they don't sound exactly the same. Actually, I might actually want to go into here too and change some of the random settings if I need to. The uh, since I have, let me do a little bit more. Instead of 100%, I'll do like that. So now I'll have a bigger change. In. You see that the tuning is kind of moving all over the place, which is what I want. So let's try that now, and I'll let you hear it. Okay, so let's do that once again, and let's sample it just like we did before. Okay, let's try it one more time. Okay, so that's what I want, and now only thing is I'll go in here where it says layer, and I'll go into round robin. So this means every time I hit this, it's going to just use a different one of these samples. So as you can see, it just goes in order. And if I go into, actually, I'll show you again, so I'll see if I can show you the machine gunning. It should be better. So you see there, no machine gunning. I can even go a little bit faster. So instead of 16th, I try 30 second notes. 30 second notes will probably machine gun if they're all the same velocity, but let's hear it. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought. So you can see if you need really fast things, use round robins. If you need more variations in velocity, try this method. Um, but there's another thing I can do. So like here, the problem is there's no difference in velocity. So there is one thing I can do. So before you saw I hit random here. This time we're going to do velocity. And I'll take this filter for the cutoff value here. Activate it first. I don't know. There's lots of different filters here. I don't know exactly which one to use. But I'll try two-pole low-pass filter. And I'll move this down to the lowest value around, I don't know, like 1,000... 1.5 kilohertz, I guess, is good. And I'll move this up here. So that means every time I hit it hard, it should uh, send the filter value up. And when I'm hitting it softly, the filter value should go down. So it should sound a little bit softer when I'm hitting it uh, with a low velocity. But uh, let's go in here and ramp up and let's see how it sounds. That sounded okay. Uh, let's move it to sixteenths, and I'll try like a randomize. See how this sounds. Okay, so to me that sounds okay. So like I said, you can choose which one you want to do. Let me erase all this. I'll show you one more thing that you might be interested in. Clear the pad. So another way you can sample here is 
like here, I just used, oh, okay, well, you have like a bunch of different notes, but I used one instance. But let's say you want to use multiple instances. So let me copy the MIDI here. Okay, so I'll just copy this and paste it to various tracks here. Paste. 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 And last one. Paste. So I have a bunch of different synths here. Uh, have these all set. And what I'm going to do is just move these different areas. Uh, let's see. Take this and move it to the left. Let's do like 85 to the left. I'm going to take this randomness and I'm going to move that way up. So now you see the delay is moved up to 62. So this should give us something. I'll move the pitch up too. Let's move the pitch up like that. Uh, I'll move the snap frequency yeah, like that. Uh, that one I move to the left. Next one down, I'll move to the right. 85. I'll move this pitch up here, I guess. Randomness, wherever. Snap is okay. Change the decay. Next one down, do the same thing. Uh, 46 to the right, that seems about right. Randomness, do 82, pitch negative 1. That seems good, nice and random. I set these up before, that's why they look like that. Um, let's see. Pitch negative 2 there. Randomness, let's do 89, snap frequency. Okay, and I think the first one, did I turn this off? Yeah, let me turn that. Okay. So now let me try to arm all these so you can hear what they all sound like together. Let's see if I can play them all. So I think it's fairly decent. It sounds like a bunch of different drums playing. I can randomize it more. Let me move some of these up here like that there. Actually, did I set this 60, 46 to the right, uh, 46 to the left, randomness. Let me move this even higher. Let's see how it sounds now. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of flamming, uh, but that's kind of good. It makes it sound a little bit more human. And for the... Velocities, so the velocities don't all sound the same. I can go into here, the velocity shape, and like I have this one, I'll leave that one alone. Uh, next one, I'll go in here, velocity shape. Let me bring it like that, so that means the velocity response will be a little bit different from that one. Next one, I'll do the same thing. Oh, I have it changed a little bit. I'll do this. There we go. Uh, do the same thing with this one. That one's already there a little bit. There we go. And velocity for this. I'll move it down a bit. Okay. So now the velocity, the almost everything should be random randomized. So when I hit something, it should sound quite different. It might be a little bit too loose, but let's try it. We can go into Geist here, and I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before. Now you see I have it on an aux track, so it's going to record all of them together. And hopefully it won't clip, but uh, let's hear it. Here we go. Okay, and there we go. So I have like multi samples, so it sounds like an ensemble. Uh, I'll do the same thing I did before here, have the velocity set here, move it like that. Do I still have this set to, uh, was it round robin? There we go. And it should. So if I put this in here like this, listen to it one time. Let's try.
try going up, ramping up. Let's try even faster. That's sounding pretty decent to me. Of course, I, there might be some things you might want to tweak and change it, but for the most part, this is okay as far as I'm concerned. Like this is basically what I want. And of course, you can save this, and I change the name of it. It looks terrible now with this part one, part two. You don't need that. Change it to like something like uh, Big Tom Drum Synth or whatever you want, and uh, that will save you some time. You can use it again. And like I said. For simplicity's sake, I used reverb here, but you don't have to. I would actually probably take it off and then add reverb yourself afterwards. So that way you have uh, more versatility with your samples. But do whatever you want. It's your it's your samples. And I know some people are saying, like, you know, Geist 2 is great. There's lots of stuff, but it's a little bit expensive. So if, you know, you, you think, like, I can't afford that, there's some other cool things you can use. Like, for example, I recommend Poise. If it opens, there you go. So this one is very easy to use. It's uh, very cheap, too. I think it's $50 or something. And you can do similar things. Uh, let's see. Drum kits. Where are the samples? Uh, okay. Well, anyways, let me open something. Cells. Uh, let's see. Snare. Okay. Okay, so I don't have any of the epic samples, but one of the things you can do is if I change this to, actually, move this down, one hit here, I'll change this. Get this out of here. So I can take this, drag it into poise. So. And I can do all the same stuff. Like I can, like here, it has like uh, velocity and round robin. So I can do the exact same things I did before in Geist. And also, if where is this part? Ah, modulation. I can change this with the humanize to adjust the velocity, and this will randomize the velocity. This will randomize the start time, and this will randomize the pitch. Let me see if I can do it. So you can see the pitch is really random. So I can do all the same things I did with that. And the same thing I think I can do with here the uh, FX1 and 2. I can control the, yes, low pass filter. So I can do the same things with the low pass filter based on velocity here. If I want to uh, you know, change the sound of it so I have uh, low velocity samples and high velocity samples i can fake it just like i did in geist so this is a cheap alternative that you might be interested in i really like poise um i like geist better but poise you can't beat it for 50 dollars um so that's it for this series i hope you've learned something or gotten something out of this if you want me to do anything else um, related to this or something else entirely with synths let me know below and until next time see you